Hey everybody, thank you for joining me again for another art lesson. Today we are going to be working on how to draw an ice cream cone and focusing on value when we're looking at putting color or hues into our ice cream scoops. The reason I've picked this one is the weather is starting to finally get nice outside and I know that I enjoy having ice cream as a little sweet treat. So, this is what we're going to be creating today. I want for you to notice that I have picked one hue or one color for the middle and when I wanted to make it lighter, all I did was add white. The more white that I'm going to add to the hue, the lighter the coloring is going to be. On the bottom, if I want it to be darker, all I did was add black. The more black that I add, the darker it's going to be creating a shade, okay? This is just the value of the color or hue that I've put into the middle or picked. That is going to be your job today. If you have paint, fantastic time for you guys to try it out, experiment and see the different values that you can make of one color. If you don't have paint, I'm going to show you how to draw and fill it in to show a value of one color using pencil crayon on crayon. Okay, so paper, I want for you to get an eraser and a pencil and I'll show you why that does come in handy today. Uh, marker if you want to outline it, I like to outline all of my work. And then I want for you to pick one color that you're going to use to fill in the ice cream scoops. Okay, so let's get started. Before we start our drawing today, I want to show you what this looks like on a color value scale if we were using paint. So I have picked one blue as my hue that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how adding a little bit of white to the color is going to lighten up the hue of blue that I've picked. And then on the other side, when I add more black, what happens is it darkens the shade, makes it a darker blue. So the more white that I add to the color, the lighter it is going to be when I compare it on the scale to the original blue hue. Okay, so you can already see that it is a little bit lighter. I will put it on the paper so that we can really check it out. Okay, so this one is the one that we added white. The middle one, nothing has been added. It is the same blue that I poured just directly out of my paint bottle. As you can tell on the scale, the original color is a little bit darker than the one that has white mixed into it. And now for the one that has black, I didn't add too much. I didn't want it to be too dark of a shade, but we'll add a little bit more just so that we can really notice a difference, hopefully when we put it onto the paper. So again, the more black that I add, the darker the color is going to become in comparison to the original color and especially to the color that has white added to it. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lighter color our original color and a darker shade now. Step one, get a pencil, eraser, and piece of paper. Follow along for how to draw an ice cream cone. Today you're going to start at the top of your page because we are going to be drawing the scoops of ice cream first. So you're going to go around, make a half circle. And when you have your half circle, I want for you to think about making wavy lines to make the bottom of the ice cream scoop. So you can also think of it like you are making a little bit of a cloud. I, oops, see, okay. So I will go back and fix that later. A prime example of why I would want to have my eraser. When I'm going to make my next scoops, I'm not drawing the full top piece because it would be hidden underneath my top scoop. So I just go through, draw two lines on the side. And when I have those two lines and I'm happy with the size of them, I again go and do the wavy lines or the scoop. So I did five for the bottom one. You can do more if you want or less, it's your choice. And then I just draw an upside down cone to make the ice cream cone. Okay, and just like that, we have created our ice cream cone for today. Step two is to erase or change any spots in your art piece that you would like to fix before you go over the outline with black. So at this point, I want for you to just quickly look over your ice cream cone and make sure that there are no lines that you want to adjust or change, maybe make them look a little bit more curved or fix the little clouds or wavy lines that you put at the bottom. Again, this is why I think it's important that we always have an eraser on hand. And when we make these mistakes, it's easy for us to change. And it's not a big deal before we go over it with our black marker. Step three, you are going to outline with black and you are going to pick the one color that you would like to finish your art piece with today. After outlining in black, I would like for you to take whichever color you picked and I started at the bottom and I pressed really hard, as hard as I could to give it a darker hue. I then in the middle just use normal pressure, how I would write with a pencil to fill in that color. And at the top to give it a lighter color as if I was putting more white into it, I just pressed very lightly as I filled in this ice cream scoop. Okay, so that shows the value of the color that I used today. 
for the background of your picture. You can either color in the background, add designs to the background, or you could try cutting out the ice cream cones and sticking it onto a different piece of paper. This piece of paper can be construction paper, it could be newspaper, or even wrapping paper if you have any of that at home to use.